Lash irritation, ooh, a lash artist's worst nightmare. Tell me I'm not right. Guys, have you experienced a lash sensitivity, allergy, or irritation as a whole? Comment your experience below. So it's not just me who feels bad about my experience. Okay, the real question is, if our clients have some kind of reaction, do you know how to identify which type of reaction it is? If not, let's dive into the three most common reasons for lash irritation to occur so that you as a lash artist know exactly what your client's experiencing if they're to have issues. There are most commonly three different types of irritations we will most commonly see in our businesses. Number one is without a doubt, the most common I see on social media and people reach out to us about, and that is chemical burn. It looks like this, just redness of the eyes. It can be a little bit or a lot, but basically what chemical burn is, it's when the client's eye sits just a little bit open and we are using fumes, of course, glue around our client's eyes and glue, as we all know, the cyanoacrylate in the glue, which is the harshest component, that is attracted to moisture. Why? Because cyanoacrylate needs moisture to cure. It's kind of like cutting an onion. You know when you're cutting an onion and your eyes are close to it? The onion is attracted to the moisture in your eyes and it starts to burn. Think about your glue just like an onion. While we're lashing, if our client's eyes are open even a crack, the fumes are getting attracted to the moisture in your client's eyes and after a while of long exposure to the glue, they're gonna turn red. Now, does this mean your client has an allergy or a sensitivity to glue? Absolutely not. This could just mean that the client's eyes are open just a little bit. Next up, a scriped sclera. This is what it looks like. Sometimes it's confused for chemical burn, but it is a very different thing. We get scriped sclera when the iPad is rubbing against the eye for too long. This might happen from the eyes watering and the pad slipping in. Maybe the client talks a little too much. Whatever the reason is, the pad is brushing against the eye. Next up, allergy or sensitivity to the glue or another product that we use when lashing. It could be anything. It could even be the fibers, the black carbon in the glue. It can be anything. There's really no, oh, it's definitely the glue that they're allergic to. It's not like that. Unfortunately, allergies and sensitivities don't work that way. But the tricky thing with sensitivities and allergies is that A, they can come and go. For example, seasonal allergies can provoke someone to have a sensitivity even if they don't normally react to lash extensions. Eczema can spark reactions even if the client isn't sensitive or allergic to the products. They just can't handle anything at certain times. Now, the tricky thing about sensitivities and allergies is that they often don't show right away. Maybe the client will feel a little a little tingle when they blink a little too hard right after the service, but it won't be super noticeable until the hours after the service. So if your client leaves feeling like these lashes are the best thing ever, and then a couple hours later they're blinking and they're feeling like the lashes are a little bit sensitive, maybe it feels like their eyelids a little hot, or maybe they'll experience a little bit of crusties around the eyelid or something like that, that is a sure sign of a sensitivity or an allergy, but it also, and this is a really tricky thing, it also could be a sign of you as a lash artist using too much glue, sticking more than one extension or natural lash together, so getting stickies, or placing your extensions either too close to or on the skin. So first look at that before you dive into, oh, they're definitely having a reaction or a sensitivity, then Look at your placement and look at your technique. Is there something that you could have done wrong? Yes or no? Either way, sensitivities can be really chill in a sense that it might just create a little itchiness for a couple hours, maybe 24 hours, 48 hours after the service, or it could be as bad as something like this where the eyes completely close shut. That sums up how to identify each type of irritation and reaction. Let me know if you wanna see part two on how to prevent these irritations from happening. Comment below. Thank you so much, and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.